Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video we study about RO membrane fouling versus scaling. RO membrane fouling versus scaling. Fouling. Membrane fouling is due to deposition of suspended solids, organics, or microbes on the surface of the membrane, typically on the feed and concentrate side. Row membrane. Scaling. Scaling of row membranes is a result of precipitation of saturated salts onto the surface of the membrane. Type of fouling for reverse osmosis membrane. There are mainly four types. Particulate fouling. Organic fouling. Inorganic fouling. Biofouling. Particulate fouling. Particulate fouling occurs when suspended solids and or colloidal material clog the holes of a membrane or adhere to its surface. First stage starts with pore blocking, during which particles deposit near the pore opening, constricting the aperture. With time, layers of the deposited particles will build up on the initial ply, causing the complete sealing and blockage of the membrane's pores. Second stage is characterized by increased deposition which forms a thick cake layer, due to particles accumulate on the membrane, they form what is known as a cake layer that obstructs water from flowing through the membrane's pores, resulting in symptoms such as increased pressure differential measurements and increased energy consumption. For example silt or clay, in feed water, especially when the stream is sourced from a body of surface water. SDI measurements are especially important when installing row systems, as these have the smallest pores of any membrane filtration systems and are consequently much more vulnerable to particulate fouling. Particulate fouling can typically be prevented by applying appropriate upstream coagulation and filtration. Saline water with turbidity below 0.05 NTU causes very low particulate fouling of row membranes. Silt Density Index, SDI, is a parameter that provides an indication of the particulate fouling potential of the saline source water. Organic fouling is caused by the accumulation and deposition of relatively dense organic materials, it is the collection of carbon-based material on a filtration membrane. Natural organic matter consists of carbon-based compounds commonly found in soil, ground and surface water, Resulting from decomposition of plant and animal material, the main source of organic fouling on the membrane surface in this case is polymer accumulation, caused by polymer overdosing. Organics adsorb to the membrane surface resulting in flux loss the organic concentration, as measured by total organic carbon, TOC, be less than 3 ppm to minimize fouling potential. Organics can be reduced in RO feed water using coagulation slash clarification, ultraviolet radiation or activated carbon filtration, the concentration of oils, both hydrocarbon and silicone based, and greases should be less than 0.1 ppm in RO feed water, oils and greases can be removed from RO feed water using coagulation. Inorganic fouling, inorganic fouling or scaling, is the deposition of inorganic compounds on the membrane surface or inside the membrane pores. Biofouling refers to the adhesion and accumulation of microorganisms accompanied by biofilm development on the solid host material. Biofouling is a process where microorganisms, plants, algae or other biological contaminants grow on or in filtration membrane surfaces and pores. Biological tend to thrive in warm environments with low flow rates, where they are able to attach to the membrane and multiply, while releasing a protective substance known as extracellular polymetric substance EPS. Collectively, the microorganisms and EPS form a slimy gel layer known as biofilm. The chemical properties of biofilm make it resistant to normal cleaning strategies like backwashing or applications of biocides, such as chlorine. 
Membrane oxidation, although not a foulant, is most often caused by free chlorine attack. It's permanent and cannot be reversed. Biofold membranes can be challenging to correct and in some cases may need replacement. Over time, a biofouled membrane will restrict water flow from one side of the membrane to the other, a condition which is perceptible in the form of greater differential pressure from feed to concentrate, as well as decreased membrane flux, greater pressure demand, and higher energy costs. Disposable cartridge filters are recommended over backwashable filters. Due to higher biofouling risk, chlorine is necessary during the summer and fall to reduce biofouling. Thank you for watching this video.